There's a line in the Spamalot Diaries, you and, and Mike Nichols, there's a lot of correspondence back and forth between you two. And at one point, Mike Nichols writes you and he says, I've given, I've been thinking a lot about you, Eric, and your childhood. And he's talking about, he, he acknowledges that he had a crazy, insane childhood, but he's talking about how your childhood was so difficult. And he said this line that really stuck with me, which is, I guess we all inoculate ourselves against our own childhood. And that really stuck with me that whatever happens to us individually, and this goes to anyone listening, if it happens to you, you tend to dismiss it. Like, well, no, no, I, I was fine. Oh my God, what this other person went through. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and when Mike Nichols says that line, he said, I, I, he, because you're so good, I don't know how much of it is being English, and how much of it is your own character as Eric Idle, your own personality. But I could just see how you have a stiff upper, upper lip. You could be very dismissive of any kind of pain in your life. Oh, that's, I'm fine. Oh, this poor other person. But how much is that, how much of that is English? How much of that is you? And you're gonna be charged for therapy when this is over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I think you learn empathy. I mean, you start by being an egotistical shit by going into show business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at me, I'm in show business. Yeah. And then you can behave very badly. And I learned from lots of very good people, like Robin Williams taught me how to be nice to fans. Mm -hmm. I would just tell them to fuck off and they would laugh and go away, you know. <laughs> but that was good enough for them to say, oh, he told me to fuck off. <laughs> I just was told to fuck off by Eric Idle. <laughs> and, and that became a thing. And then I thought, yeah, and then I watched Robin and, and yeah. his empathy and remembering that this is somebody's moment in their life, and it's a big moment in yeah. their life because they've they've waited, for, they love you, they want this moment. So if you are a shit or dismissive, um, it, it, it's it's an, it's a nasty memory. So what I always do is I always say, "Oh, I'm Eric," and, and I get their name. Yes. And then you're on a one-to-one -one human ba basis yeah. with them. Yeah. And you're not some kind of god, and they're not some abject fan. So I, I, I try and, and I think I think that works in all sorts of situations where you remind people that they're people yeah. and we're just here at this moment. It's funny you mentioned Robin because I didn't realize how close you guys were. You guys were very close. And I was lucky enough to have some great interactions with Robin Williams before he passed. And one of the most memorable examples to me of his kindness is when I went through my whole Tonight Show debacle and finally I'm, the show is done and I don't know if I have a career anymore, or what am I gonna do next? You remember this, this part very well, Sona, cause Sona was with me during all that. And I'm lying on the floor uh, in the living room of my house and my phone rings and I pick it up and it's Robin Williams. I don't even know how he got my phone number. I'll never forget, he goes like, how you holding up, chief? Yeah. And I said, uh, oh, Robin, thanks so much for calling. And he said, you know, listen, you know, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be great. I know you like to ride bikes, because he was really into bicycling. And he said, I know you like riding bikes. Uh, go down um, to this, the bike shop down in Santa Monica. I want you to go down there and I've set up a bike for you. And I said, what? And he said, no, 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 just, just, head on down there and so, and uh, ride around, you'll feel better. And I went down and it was a Colgana, which is a very nice bike. And he said, I told him to paint it in all these crazy Irish colors. <laughs> and I get down there and it's the most, it's the ugliest. <laughs> I mean, it was just, you know, greens and, and it, it's shamrocks and everything. And I couldn't believe and he was like, oh, you're gonna like that bike, chief. Don't worry about it. And I just thought I, uh, I thanked him many, many times. I just couldn't believe that he was thinking about me. You know how we are in life. But, but that's how you, he you was. think about someone, oh, that's too bad what happened to him. Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a sandwich. No, no, he reached out. He thought what might please you. He went and got to a shop and chose. I mean, he would put a lot of effort into making you feel better, which I thought, that's very, very Robin. That's yeah. fantastically typical Robin. And that generosity and kindness is a is something with, combined with the wit on the man, which is, is a, not an, a common combination. Yeah. 
you know, I don't think Dr. Johnson was busy sending people. Well, he might have done, but uh, I, I think... I, I mean, <laughs> he had Boswell do it. He had Boswell. Boswell! Yeah. <laughs> Send that fucker a bike! <laughs>